It's a done deal. The class of 2012 has been chosen and is ready to go. This impressive group of incoming freshmen is being touted as the most qualified class to ever enter Northwestern University. But no question, getting accepted wasn't easy. This year, the number of students sending in applications hit an all-time record. Let's take a closer look at admissions at Northwestern and what's behind the numbers for now and for the future. The music, a rendition of the school fight song, Go You Northwestern by the university's marching band. The audience, students who've just been accepted to the class of 2012, and for some, their parents as well. This is a program called Wildcat Days. Here you go. And this is where you're staying tonight, South Mid Quads. Sort of a multi-day orientation session on campus. The idea is to help high school students who received a yes from Northwestern decide if they want to say yes in return. And it gave us a chance to see what those students were looking for. I wanted somewhere where there were a lot of different types of people, but that I could still blend well. I was looking for a diversity simply because at my, at my high school I am the minority, and I was looking for Greek life. Because I'm looking for a very strong academic program, but I'd also like to get very involved in the campus and like campus where there's a lot going on. Being able to participate in the music program here, even though I'm not going to be necessarily a music major, that really means a lot to me. Their names, Christine Kolap, from East Brunswick, New Jersey. Frankie DeChacho, from Rochester, New York. Nathan Kim, from Carmel, Indiana. And Ashley Joplin, from New Orleans. They have all been accepted to Northwestern. In other words, they've all been through the ups and downs of applying to college. When I got the NU letter, I was absolutely excited. I couldn't even wait for the letter. I checked online before... Uh, even the letter even came. Oh, I was elated to get in, but the waiting period before you get in is probably the worst time ever. But now, the waiting period is over, and the deciding period has begun. We'll get to their decisions later, but first, consider just how difficult it was for them to get into Northwestern in the first place. In the past three years, applications to campus have skyrocketed, up 54%. Dean of Undergraduate Admissions Christopher Watson says what's increasing is not just the number of students, but also the quality. As you go through these applications and you're reading the personal stories, you're reading these essays, you're reading recommendations, you're looking at their extracurricular interests, you're looking at what they've accomplished academically, you start to get a pretty clear picture rather quickly of who's going to do well on your campus, who's going to thrive, not just get by. The class of 2012, without a doubt, will be the most qualified class to ever enter Northwestern University. What they have achieved at 17 is not what my peers at 17 were accomplishing. What they're doing is what you would find with most young adults. So I think in that respect, it's, it's extraordinary. Indeed, we found each of the newly accepted students we met to be full of ideas about what they hope to accomplish. I love to write and I love to talk to people, so if I can get their story and relay it to the world, then that's what I want to do. There's no doubt in my mind that I will do more things than just performing, and I, I originally had thought maybe I'll minor in environmental science, or maybe I'll, you know, major in environmental science and minor in theater. I'm right now considering and leaning towards medicine, but I also want to leave it open for other options such as business. I've always enjoyed science, but I wasn't exactly sure what science I was into. But if there was one thing they all wanted, it was balance, a school that could lead them to their future, but also allow them to change their minds. I really like the school's flexibility of how different you can switch majors every now and then if you wanted to. If you really find your true passion for something else, then you can change over and it's no problem. I wanted a medium-sized school where there was a good balance of academics and social life, a lot going on on campus, but where I could also settle down and get a really good education. Dean Watson says the search for balance between a big school and a small one, between academics and social life, between liberal arts and professional thinking is driving uh, applications choices, to Northwestern. Usually, um, they'll do a pretty good job of matching you up with at least one of your top three. Unfortunately, we are turning away literally thousands of applicants who 
could easily have been admitted in other years and have done quite well here. While Northwestern is enjoying popularity, administrators are keenly aware of the challenges of paying for tuition. To make a difference, Northwestern has changed its financial criteria and is looking at a broader range of economic burdens on lower and moderate income families. What we're trying to do for families is replace what is often part of the college process, which is student loans, with grants. And we want them to know that a Northwestern degree is not only attainable, but can be affordable. For Ashley, Frankie, Nathan, and Christine, a Northwestern degree is now a real possibility. After spending nights in dorms and talking to undergrads during Wildcat days, all of them, including some of their parents, told us their decision is Northwestern. Definitely not going to cry. I can't wait. <laughs> you know, I can't believe I have five months to wait before I get here. What's really interesting is the first time I cried. His, his, his stepdad has cried the entire time we've been here. Uh -huh. He has cried. Yeah. Every time I turned around, he's sniffling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this fits it with his personality. He loves to venture out and do things out of the box, and this environment will um, support that. I kind of took all the information that I could as much as I could get before I applied, and then once I got in, it was my top choice, and the seller was just coming here and visiting. We told her all these years, you work hard, do what you have to do, and you know, get the grades and everything, that that was her job at the time, and then she gets to choose where she wants to go. So she lived up to her side. So we're just very happy she's going to be happy and then successful later on. It just feels like home. I don't, I don't know. A lot of colleges didn't have that feel to me. I, you step right on campus, you're like, I don't know if I like this too much, but no, it, it feels right to me. No doubt, at one end of the admission process, there is relief and joy. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your acceptance to Northwestern. Have a great time while you're here, and go Cats. <laughs> Like a band that keeps on playing, the admissions process never ends. In another part of campus, a group of prospective students is just getting started. So just to start you guys off with a bit of history, on, in 1850, a small group of Methodist ministers gathered in a law office in Chicago to make plans for what was then uh, a Methodist institution in an area of Chicago called Northwest Territory, hence the name Northwestern. These students are mostly high school juniors, and often with their parents, are taking the campus tour. It's one of many In a way, a the next Northwestern class, the class of 2013, represents a new era. Statistics indicate the total number of high school students in the U.S. will now begin to decline, and with it, presumably, the number of applications to college. For schools like Northwestern, that means increased competition for some of the best and the brightest. But Dean Watson is optimistic. He believes Northwestern's distinct identity and growing reputation will afford the school the opportunity to keep attracting the top students in the world. I think Northwestern is poised um, to do very well for itself just simply based on who's been applying and who will apply in the future, whether the numbers increase or not. Um, we're popular nationally and internationally. Things are going extremely well here. There's no reason to think they, they won't continue to do so.